Wow! Everything is picked clean. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Well, at least it's Friday for me. Um, but just getting ready for work. Today is the last day before the typhoon hits. Now everyone's saying it's gonna be even more powerful. And because of that, a lot of the grocery stores have been cleared out. Um, well, like yesterday on Twitter and the news and within my friend group, I was seeing a lot of pictures from people taking at the grocery stores because nothing is left inside. So I think today I'm going to go get a few things. Um, usually the first things to go are like non-perishable goods, so like cup noodles, or a lot of bottles of water, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna pop in the grocery store. Hopefully there's some things left. I don't see why there wouldn't be things left um, because they restock every day. It just means like last night, nothing was restocked last night. Cause I've been in the grocery store before and it's looked empty on a normal night because they don't restock towards the end of the night, you know? But we already have some of the rain coming. It's gonna be a gloomy rainy day. It's a long weekend in Japan. Monday is what holiday? Monday is Taikusai no Hi, so um, sports day, essentially. It sucks that the typhoon's coming on Saturday because I was hoping to film some really cool videos outside, but now I can't. More videos of me stuck at home. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready for work and I'm gonna watch the new Rogue Rocket, which is one of Philip DeFranco's side channels. Um, yeah, I really like it. They put out like documentaries, like mini documentary style videos and really make you think. So if you like those kind of videos, definitely check out Rogue Rocket. Okay, today's Friday outfit. So I have this mustard yellow cardigan on. This is a kind of like a more fitted cardigan because this is an L. Anyway, I bought it last year and I have like a tank top on underneath. I'm wearing these like, what is this called again? Paper doll? Paper doll pants? I don't know. Um, they have like a little pleat there and then a tie. These pants, I can't remember where I got them. I got them like four years ago maybe, but they're so comfortable. They're literally just free flowing cotton pants. And why I wanna wear these is because it's already kind of sprinkling right now, but the rains are gonna get even heavier as the day goes on because of the typhoon coming. And I don't wanna be stuck in um, like white or beige pants and have them get soaked and then be two different colors, you know? And these pants are super loose and they dry really quickly. so. That's my reasoning behind these pants. They're not like my favorite pants anymore, but um, for practicality, I will wear them for work. Wow, there's no water. Okay, I'm home from work now. I stopped in at the grocery stores and wow, everything is picked clean, like totally clean, like the non-perishable goods. Um, so anything like cup noodles or pre-made curry or anything like that, it is all gone. The only stuff that's left is a bit of expensive stuff. And I was thinking like, if the power goes out because of this typhoon, um, then how are people gonna cook their noodles? Like, does the gas stove stay on? I don't really know how it works because because in all of the time I've been in Japan, I've never had the power gone out, like went out, so I don't know. But then I got to thinking like, everyone uses nabe um, pots here or like the, it almost looks like a cooking grill that has a propane, little tiny propane can that they use to light a fire and make things, uh, especially nabe pots, like they leave it on the tables. Um, and cook it like right at the table for winter, during winter, and I'm like, that makes sense, that's probably how they're making all the food. 
I don't have one of those. So what am I gonna do? Then I looked at bread. Don't have a lot of bread. I got bananas because bananas don't really need to be left out. Um, I also have a little bit of bread here, some snacks, potato chips. I have pasta that sh maybe I should make. I don't know. I have pasta, but like I need hot water to make the noodles, right? I bought this one because I feel like it would still be delicious, even if it's not hot, you know? And I bought that, as well as I bought a three pack of naan because this doesn't really need to be warm either. I'm gonna have to make sure that this water jug is filled. So I was actually asking my coworkers about taping the windows because I'm not really used to doing that. And we don't have storm shutters like some of the other places here in Japan. So my coworkers were like, tape the windows, but if you have a, um, a cardboard box, put the cardboard box on the window and then tape it. And while I was walking to work today, I saw like people already starting to tape their windows. So my coworkers gave me some tape from work. Perfect, I don't have to buy any and this is easy to remove from the windows. I'm wondering if I should just get like Domino's pizza because I have a coupon on right now, buy one get one free if you go and pick it up. So I go and pick it up. To me, pizza is always delicious. Even if the power goes out, cold pizza is A-OK -okay with me. And T literally eats anything. What a wild Friday night. Scrambling for supplies. Okay, so I've given it some thought. Before I give up on the grocery store and get pizza, I'm gonna go and look and see if they have anything for Oden. Because Oden is good even when cold. I'm gonna prep it tonight if they have any. So let's go to the grocery store first. Oh my god, there's literally nothing, nothing. Success, I found some Odin stuff. This is for tonight. Pizza, this pizza's like 198 and it's so cheap. So yeah, there's like no meat, no vegetables, nothing. Um, so I got some stuff to make Odin. So I got this two pack of Odin um, that already has like soup inside with stuff marinated. Um, and I'm gonna use this. As well as I bought like yesai, so vegetable tempura kind of style cakes. Like a fish cake, but vegetable. And then I got shirataki. This is like cognac noodles um, already wrapped up. Three packs of chikwa, so this is fish cakes. And I got these kind of little cakes here. More udon soup. And I have like six eggs in my fridge that I'm gonna try to like um, boil so I can put them in the oden as well. And then because there's no daikon or radish, I got like this already like made daikon. So hopefully I can put it in and it's still, it's still gonna taste good and taste like oden. Yeah. Ignore the like the political stuff or whatever is going on, but you can see here written on the side, it's like typhoon number 19. And if you have a QR code reader, that NHK thing, um, you can read it through your phone and then it'll pop up with the news. Also, I think Japan and a couple other teams were playing this Saturday, so <sighs> sucks to all of those people who were supposed to be watching the rugby game um, this weekend and like paid all that money. And some people even flew here to see rugby and like all those games are canceled. This is the pasta sauce I'm gonna use. I got some noodles and pizza. Three minutes. Super simple pasta and some pizza. Okay, so for my Oden, I'm ready to cook it now. I'm all done eating dinner. I'm gonna use my big Mabe pot. That was a car horn. Literally, all I have to do is just throw everything in with water and then let it boil. And then that's it. That is it.
Okay, so I have this one simmering here. And then I have this one ready to go. Um, I'm just going to put in one of these packages and then I need 1,000 milliliters and we're gonna go from there. Hi, I got bored and I decided to play with makeup. Just to see like what's going on, you know? Um, like what I like, what I don't like, yeah. I just got out of the shower. My hair's still a little bit wet, but it's about 11 and the rain is here. Well, it's coming. Guys, do you see that rain? I changed my lenses up. Whoop, so I can zoom. This is the normal lens that I use. A 12 millimeter, I guess. Yeah, Olympus. I use the Olympus cameras. I wanted to share with you guys this funny like website that um, if you're living in Japan, you've probably already seen the website before and it's called the rising wasabi and it's actually a website that Upon first glance you might think is a real website. So the rising wasabi is Japan's premium satirical news publication covering the latest from the land of the rising sun. This website's really funny, especially if you have if you have lived in Japan before or um, you are living here and you've never heard of it, you should definitely go read some of the articles on it. It's just so funny, like the newest article about the typhoon that just came out. This one, typhoon to arrive in Japan just in time for the long weekend. I thought this one was kind of funny. A super typhoon is on track to arrive in Japan right at the beginning of a three day weekend with zero prospect of affecting regular working hours. We are expecting ferocious winds with a high chance of no one missing work. It's just like a whole play on the fact that we're all saying on Twitter and I was saying to all my friends that like, ah, why is this typhoon coming on the long weekend and not like during the work week? Because let's be honest, nobody wants to go to work. Yeah, I'm hoping that the typhoon won't be so bad tomorrow. Um, you guys are going to see how it turns out anyway because I'm going to be vlogging. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the typhoon video. Bye!